Hey everybody, Trash back. I know it's been a long time, but I really wanted to sit down and make a video about TypeScript and really just how you can go from the foundational knowledge of TypeScript to maybe developing more advanced types and contributing to libraries. That's not necessarily a path many people want to take, but for those who do want to take that path, it's pretty hard to figure out how to get there. And I'll kind of go over some examples in a second. So let's just jump in. I'm just gonna shoot from the hip and we'll make it up as we go. All right, cool, let's do it. So I'm gonna kind of go over what I think is the foundational knowledge of TypeScript that I think many engineers have currently. Um, so first there's like interfaces, right? So you can think of my interface. Um, this is just another interface, but then you can think about what's the functional equivalent of TypeScript. We have types, type aliases. Um, further, we have type annotations. So if we do like X has to be a string, right? Then if I did something like this, this works. But if I did one, we get that type error, right? Because the type annotation says it has to be a string. Um, further, we can get into intersection types and just extending interfaces. These are functionally equivalent at face value. So if I did like const y bar and I looked at the autocomplete, I can see that I can get a, b, c. And again, this is just extending interfaces. And then if I do the intersection types, you can see here, I get the same, same kind of experience. So you can really go most of your career just by knowing these simple things, to be honest, and, and live a very happy life. Um, oh yeah, union types. I don't think you can, you, you'll definitely run into a union type at some point. That just means, you know, your value has to be one of these, one of these three options. But where I think everything starts to break down is when engineers run into generics, right? So I know, when I saw this letter T and God forbid you see T, U, V, T, zero, what have you, it's just like insanely overwhelming. It's like hitting the gas pedal in your car and just flooring it into a wall at hundred miles an hour because your brain just literally explodes all over your monitor. So the first thing I did to just like getting familiar with generics in general is I kind of like went from zero to a hundred or I was introduced to this thing called type challenges. And if you're not familiar what type challenges are, uh, I'll have a link in the description. It's basically a collection of like riddles or rather leap code for TypeScript. And I can kind of show you, and to be honest, like a lot of this isn't too real world. The kind of stuff that makes you write is very, is very useful. Uh, so we'll kind of just jump into like one example. Um, let's just say we write a pic. And if you're not familiar with pick, you kind of read this description. It just says, with this with this type that you're gonna make, you can pass in some interface, and then as the second argument, we want to basically say, I want to choose only title and completed from the set. So description will no longer exist, right? So you can see here, the answer is, or the result would be an object, which is title and completed, right? So how do you even approach this kind of stuff? You know what I mean? And this is, this is like where it kind of like helps you um, understand it kind of it, it literally just like shoves generics down your throat on the first problem and you're probably going to throw up on yourself because you're just going to feel so helpless but i'll do this one real quick i'm not going to explain what i'm doing really i mean i'll say stuff as i'm typing but this is just kind of just to show you what a type challenge is okay so we understand that we want some type we take in some object and we want to be able to only pass in valid keys that exist on some interface and then only have those exist in the new type, right? So T would just represent whatever type we're, we're passing in. And then we would have another generic that would just represent valid keys that exist on it. So key of is just a way, a way to say, hey, these are the keys that exist in the type you passed in. So for example, you passed in an object or you passed an interface that had title description completed. These are the keys. Right, so it has to be, so key up, so this extends key up just means it has to be at least one of these. Now, all you have to do here is key in um, K and then it just T key, right? Boom, done. I don't expect any of you to understand what I did if you're not familiar with like generics in general, but this is just how you do type challenges. And I promise you, you're not gonna know how to do this immediately if you're not familiar with the generics, but by like, by the end of week one, if you give it a good try, this is gonna feel like a walk in the park, all right? You're gonna understand map types, right? Um, you're gonna understand like the extends, the key of, and everything like this. But like, I guess, how do you even begin to understand like this kind of stuff? And this is what I did. I literally went 
into either the TS Playground or I went into NeoVim and I just played around. So it's like, okay, what Kiev? Like, what what the heck is Kiev? So let's just let's just try it because why the f not? Uh, so type foo equals Kiev. You know, my interface, right? And this isn't going to be too helpful here. Like what, when you actually see what it's going to be, you can do like let x foo, and then now you can see it's giving me A or B, right? Because what this really translates into is a union type of A and B. So you can see here, that's exactly what you see in the IntelliSense. It can either be one or, one of these, right? If I try to do C, Boom, dead, can't do it, whatever. And this is just, this is literally what I do. Every time I see something that just doesn't make sense, I try it, right? You see like the the new, the new uh, not the new thing, but like if you're on tech Twitter, you see that, oh, don't use enums, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so like what's the alternative? So then you'll see someone like do some syntax that's like this. Um, we'll just do, let's just not get too creative here. And you'll see that they'll do like as const, and then you'll see they'll do some crazy nonsense like type x equals type of x, right? Means that it's effectively immutable or read only. Um, it could only ever be a value of one. And, that, and then like you kind of just connect the dots and it's like, dude, what, what is this type of? Oh, okay. Um, if I do this, we see that, but if I, this is my way to actually convert this value into a type so then I can use it elsewhere, All right? So, and again, like I'm not gonna walk through a million examples, but this is like my thought process on how I and how I just do these things. That's, that's pretty much, I mean, ultimately it comes down to curiosity and you just sitting in front of your computer and just typing away just like as of what I did now. Like this is literally exactly what I do. Maybe not exactly the same examples, but you know, I go in, break types down and just try to understand things at a granular level. And that's truly going to help you broaden your knowledge in TypeScript. Additionally, so we we talked about type challenges and now let's talk about some courses you could do. So first, Frontend Masters does have a couple of good courses. I think Mike North uh, has like a couple on there that are pretty good. There's actually a number of really good TypeScript courses in here. I know Steve Kinney, this is a really good one. Um, Mike North does a really good job here. Primogen, never heard of that guy. Maybe it's good. And then these other ones here. They're all, they're all, I could, I could vouch for all of these for sure. So outside of front end masters, there is Matt Pocock's Total TypeScript, which is probably hands down one of the best resources I've used um, in learning advanced TypeScript. But it goes over like type transformations, TypeScript generics, advanced TypeScript patterns. So it is kind of pricey. It is kind of aimed at enterprise developers, but I would encourage everyone if you do have like an allowance of your work for learning, definitely take advantage of that and put it towards this. Um, additionally, there's another one by Gabe. Um, I believe that's his name. Um, I have this one as well. But anyways, this is like a, another platform you can use to kind of go through advanced types and just kind of get familiar with everything. Uh, so you can see here types, values, types, object records, conditional types, blah, blah, blah. Really a lot of things I've kind of went over here. I mean, I went over like two really generic use cases. I didn't really explain anything, but if you want to go in depth and understand things truly from like experts or get explanations from experts, these are hands down the best resources I use and am currently using. Like I'll go through and then maybe a month later, I'll go back and just like retake the course. Cause if you're anything like me, I have the memory of a mosquito and I forget things constantly, especially if you're not doing them day to day. So what I do is I try to bookmark things I've either created or things that I've seen from other engineers and I'll just like bookmark it and just try to truly understand it. So like, I'm not gonna explain this one, but you can, this one just basically has a replace all type. It goes through, um, let me see, it goes through each period and replaces it with an underscore. So this foo.bar will become, um, let's see, it becomes foo underscore bar. And this is just using template literal types. It's, it's using infer, which I kind of hinted towards earlier. Um, you can see the generics here. You can see the constraints of string. You can see the key of that I've talked about earlier. You can see the type of that I kind of hinted at earlier. It's like, if I gave this to you today, what do you do? Like, how do you break this down? You just take it step by step. Like you, the one thing that I do hate about TypeScript is debugging types is actually hell on earth. And I don't know if there's actually like a good solution to debugging types other than 
taking this like gnarly thing you see here and kind of separating it into its own type. So I guess I'll just like, for an example, I'll go through this one and I'll, I'll say, well, I don't even understand what this means. All right. So let's, let's, let's try it. Right. Let's just do type foo. Um, I don't remember what's in the type. Okay. So for now, I'm going to like actually, uh, let's just see what happens. Let's do, let's do like S extend string, right? Like we're just, we're going, we're going off, off the fly here. Um, looks like it's another generic as from, we'll just make this. I don't even know. Let's see. What does this type say? So from is what its original value is. So from period, and we're just going to put default types here because I don't feel like passing these in. And then two, so basically it's just saying, I want to turn the periods into an underscore, right? Um, so we have from here, what is this complaining about? I don't, I think I'm missing something here. Oh, okay, we need to do something like this. So what I like to do is I like to just like send pieces of this back, right? Uh, what is it? This is probably gonna be like the extend string. Okay, so let's just do extend string. And then we need to do the same thing over here probably. So I'm just gonna do it just in case. And so what I do is I'm like, well, what the heck is prefix? So what I'll do is I'll just have it return me whatever prefix is immediately. So I'll say type bar equals foo. And then let's just pass in a string of foo bar and see what happens. I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know, but we're going to figure it out. And then we can do this in the TS playground, which is pretty nice. Okay. It looks like it, re it gives me foo. So it looks like, let me just hit enter here so we can kind of keep this on one screen. And then let me just format this a little bit. Okay, so we have prefix. So it says infer prefix. So in this case, it looks like foo is prefix. Okay, okay, so then what's from? Like, I don't even know what from is. Let's do from. Okay, from gives me the period. Okay. And then what the hell, what the heck is suffix? Oopsies, I put an M here, dude, I'm so bad. So bar is suffix. So it looks like foo is prefix, from is this period, and then suffix is whatever is after the period, right? So you can kind of see like how you just like, how you can kind of connect these dots. So instead of like, instead of seeing all these extra types you see over here, I just care about the first thing. And then once I can truly understand what each one of these are doing, I can then move on to the next one. We're not gonna go on any further, but that's like literally my mindset. All right, and hopefully that's helpful to you all. Okay, I think I talked enough. Let's go ahead and end this here. Um, I'm gonna put all the links in the description for Total TypeScript, Type Level TypeScript, Front End Masters, Type Challenges, um, the TypeScript Playground. I would encourage you all to check out all those links. Some of them are paid, but you know what? It's free to sit in a TS Playground. It's free to just diddle around in whatever editor you want to and just learn these things. Other good resources is join my Discord. We do have a TypeScript channel. We have plenty of people that are very good at TypeScript in there. So if you have any questions, feel free to join. Link will be in the description. I hope this was truly helpful. It was a little bit longer than I expected, um, but you know, when you're live coding and you're having a good time, what can you do? So anyways, it's been a while and I'm glad I'm back. Trash out. <laughs>